Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan, if you don't know me, I do shopping hauls, challenges and beauty videos. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So yeah, I've just came in from work and that's why I look a little bit, a little bit of a mess. But we're going to make it work. So today I thought I'd do a video on my tanning routine because I recently done my top favourite tans and you all seem to enjoy that. So I'm going to do my tanning routine, how I tan, what I use, blah blah blah. Um, let's get into it. And I'm back all fresh faced and ready to tan. So I've got my bag full of tanning stuff. Um, well, one of the bags. So most of the stuff I'm going to be using in this bag today. I also have my moisturiser and my scrub to show you all, which I have already done, but I'm going to talk you through it. To get a flawless tan, first thing you're going to want to do is hop in the shower. Really hot, warm water. Hot, warm really warm water so that you're able to scrub all of the dirt out all of your pores so that you can apply your tan flawlessly um, so what I use is this scrub it's just from body care it's raspberry and pomegranate revive scrub and it's really really good for getting into your pores um, and really scrubbing away all that dirt um, ready for tanning what you're also going to want to do is shave um, shave your legs and stuff like that just to have like a smooth canvas ready to put your tan on I also recommend if you do shave to wait like a couple of hours before you apply tan um, otherwise the pores that you've just opened especially from shaving as well the tan's going to soak up inside those pores um, and you're going to get like spotty dotty spotty dotty marks so after you've done all that um, I would grab my moisturizer use whichever one that you use and apply it to the dry patches on your body and also I apply it to the whole of my face if I'm tanning my face because you can never put too much moisturizer on your face for tan because it literally like it magnifies ten times more than it does putting tan on your body it shows up ten times more on your face um, especially if it's dry I feel like my face is gonna crack. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this in all my dry patches and all over my face. So the main areas you're gonna wanna focus on are your elbows, knees, um, ankles, if you tan like all the way down your legs, and obviously your face, um, but definitely your elbows because the tan seems to take so much more especially on me like in this little bit here um and like it just goes black and like you can't get it off so today i'm going to be using my favorite tan which you all know is bondi sands i think i'm going to use um a mixture of the liquid gold and the dark Form. The only reason why is it'll be easier to show you on camera um, because the liquid gold, as I've described previously in my talent favourites video, this one has no guide colour so you won't be able to see where I've actually applied the tan whereas this one does have a guide colour so it you know it might show up a little bit better on camera so I'm going to mix those two together. On my tanning mate, this is the cocoa brown one from Primark. So once all your moisturiser is soaked in, you're going to want to go ahead and start applying the tan onto your mitt. I'm not even sure if you're supposed to mix them, like obviously there's no rule about it, but like I don't even know how to do it. So this is how I mix the two together. I start with the liquid gold, a couple of pumps on my mitt, and you see like it just starts to like soak in. So I'll put like a few pumps of that on my mitt and then I'll also apply a few pumps of the dark and then you want to just sort of press them together until they're sort of mixed and start applying to your body so I'm going to start with my chest and my arms just for demonstration um, I would always recommend work from down up because when you're bending over to do your legs you'll get creases in your stomach so that's why I would always recommend legs first and then work your way up. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to start with my arms and chest because that's, that's where you can see.
I don't need anything unless you want some more hot chocolate, my dear. No. So the best way to always apply your tan is in super motions. I look such a strange colour in this light. So basically, yeah, like fast super motions to blend it in. And basically, like there's no right or wrong way as long as you're not putting too much on. So I've just popped off camera to finish off my tan because I can't do it properly in a bikini. So um, I've done from my neck down to... I've done my legs as well. Um, the only thing that I haven't done yet is my face and my hands, so I'm going to show you how I do that. So for my face, what I usually do is use a brush. It makes it so much easier and um, you can get it on smoothly, especially if you have moisturised your face properly. It just goes on that much smoother. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of the liquid gold. I'm not going to use the dark foam because it makes my face too dark. I'm going to use the liquid gold. This is just a really cheap brush from Primark. And literally just dab it on um, where the sun would hit your face like look like you'd be sun kissed you don't want to put it in every last inch of your face because it's just gonna look unnatural um you need to do it in like the main areas like i wouldn't do um my nose really i do like a little bit but not much it's not gonna look natural if you kick your whole face in in um in tan so I've done my face just really quickly, it doesn't take long to do, just super quickly brush it on. Um, what I've started to do with my hands is, I don't tan it with the rest of my tan so you can see like it, it stops here. Um, what I do is I gradually fade off my tan um, halfway down my arms and then I use my Bandai Sands Everyday Liquid Gold. The reason I do this is because my hands really take to tan and it just looks unnatural. So if I use this along with a brush um, left with the residue off the tan that I used before, it looks nice and natural. Obviously make sure you've fully moisturised your hands beforehand as well. Um, otherwise it is going to take and it is going to look unnatural so I'm just going to use a little bit of my everyday liquid gold. I'm just gonna spray it onto the brush. And the everyday liquid gold is just like an oil. Um, it's super lightweight and it is really good to put on your hands um, or to use to top up your tan. So just brushing that on and blending it up. So if my hands don't quite go as dark as I'd like them by the time it develops, I'll then can just do another layer. Like it's not, um, it's not no big deal. It's no major deal. So because I use tannin mousses, um, the best thing to do is to sleep in them overnight. Well, that's my personal preference. The only exception to this is the liquid gold if I was using that on my, its own because it's clear and it doesn't rub off and you can put it on and then put your clothes on top if you're in a rush and then throughout the day you'll get darker. But because it's quite late at night, it's getting on, um, I'm going to be sleeping in this. So you want to wear some loose clothing. Um, I'm probably going to have to redo this because my bikini is very tight. So you want to sleep in like loose clothing because you don't want it to like smudge, you don't want like any lines um, while your tan develops. So that's the reason why. It's not easy to tan your back, I'm not going to lie. Um, look at this. It's so patchy um, and that's because it is like near yeah, impossible to reach well for me is anyway. Um, so what you've got to do is sort of like twist. But there's always a bit for me right in the middle that I can't reach. So the best thing to do is either buy one of those back tannin mitts, which I haven't invested in yet, or get someone to help you. Um, but normally, because I'm not going to be wearing like any clothes that are going to be showing my back anyway, like that doesn't really bother me. But obviously, if I was going to be wearing something that shows my whole body, then I would like fully do my tan properly. Um, so yeah, there's no easy way to do it. I'm not gonna lie about that. You've just gotta figure it out for yourself. It is the most difficult place to tan. So yeah, and this is what I currently look like with the guide color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and update you tomorrow on the development of my tan. So I'm gonna sleep in it and then wash it off tomorrow and show you the colour that it has become. And also if I forget any of my top tips, I will add them in to the clip that I film tomorrow because I have loads of tips. Um, and I'll probably do another video just on my tanning tips and tricks um, because I'd love to share that with you. So I'll see you again when I add my clip in here. Hi everyone, so it's the next day um, and I am all lovely tan so i really do hope you can see it properly in this camera because normally you can't so i've switched to my phone and i think the lighting's a little bit better um so yeah this is how i'm looking
So as I said, it is a really, really amazing tan. I love it to bits. Like if you're looking for a tan that is gonna get you a lovely even, a lovely dark color, go for Bondi Sands. Uh, I like, I rate it, like it is up there. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you wanted to see any more videos from me about tanning, about my tips and tricks, let me know down below or head over to my Instagram and Twitter and let me know over there. I'm always looking for ideas, I'm looking for input off you guys and yeah. Don't forget to watch my top five tanning products video that I done recently. I will pop a card up here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.